Huh. Hey y'all, it's Crow Killer here uh, with another cooking vid. It's a pretty much my hours indifferent. Indifferent are are indifferent from everyone else. As, as you know, I work almost at early morning. Oh crap! Right now I'm cooking a meal. Right now, as what I'm trying to say is, I. Uh, I work 6 to 6 and it's like 9.17 which is pretty much supper time for me on uh, YouTube. So right now what we've got going is pretty much some onions and butter and using meat ju juice in a pan to create extra flavor. Now we take these onions, we're going to flip the rest of them except for the little tiny bit. This is pretty much a simplistic onion rings. Of course this recipe is made up in my mind. I'll figure out if it tastes good when once we get through with this. But this big honking piece of meat that we have here on the table is going to be done for making German burgers. How to make German burgers? Simple. Pretty much take uh, what's in that pan, add two slices of uh, sliced bread, good to go. But right now I gotta take care of some stuff as usual. So we got this going at a good speed. For those that have actually commented on my videos, I like the comments. I don't like to be a dick about things, but I get that you're trying to help me and all, but you have your personal preferences, I have mine. I was trained how to be a chef's cook, or work in a restaurant kitchen, pretty much, in high school. So, you know what that entails? Actually doing stuff. So, we got that going. We still, from our previous vid, we still have this to drink. Man, that is caramel -y. All right, we got this going at a good temp. Ooh, that butter's burnt out. The thing with butter is you can't cook it too long or else you get this deal. And you know, I forget whomever you are, Doom or whatever your name is, I get that you care enough about my channel to actually comment on it, but I don't rehash any of my stuff from other channels to make a channel. That's just my thing, my personal preference and how to do stuff. And how I operate my kitchen is how I operate my kitchen. If you like, think that it needs improvement, come join me on cam. We'll make some new videos. All right, we got that going. We got our onions going at a good pace. Which I'm trying to make uh, pretty much sauteed onions. They're interesting to make and they taste good. This big large slice. This will go on to two burgers, which I'll have to make more of. And oh, butter. Well, Americanize this. So yeah, we got this going at a good pace. We're going to cook this up, make it taste good, survive, and live another day. So we got this going. We got our camera going. This was pre-cooking before I got put on put it on camera. So we got this going at a good pace. We got the camera 
at least working again because it's plugged up instead of doing what it did last time and pretty much lost the whole uh, video because of it. So yeah, we got that going. We're going to cut this up. We're going to also get the tomato that I have stashed here. How to store tomatoes. How I store my tomatoes at least. It's not recommended to do it, but I froze froze these so they won't pretty much deripen. They won't thaw and uh, pretty much melt in uh, my fridge which has happened before. I am going to do something very drastic and, hold on, there might be a trick to this. There we go. Heat it up on a, on a glass lid. You gotta do what you gotta do just to make things work. That won't, I hope won't, uh, this is solid. We're going to say that straight up. That tomato is solid. Not to mention, I've got to get some other stuff put on. We've got that going. We've got all this going. This tomato is going to heat up. That's going to be interesting when it does. So, yeah, we got all that going. I was walking around today, and with local politics and it lack thereof, I've noticed that, uh, that one business that, not really a business, but a historical society that's funded by big business in this town is gaining traction. Like, lots of traction. Like, taking over empty storefronts that can actually be used, which is a good thing, and using it for their own personal use. I get that things need to be done, but I don't get the part where you have to take someone's livelihood away from them. Potential livelihood away from them. So yeah, we gotta take care of this, which is gonna be 10 seconds in the uh, nuclear box. Okay. Okay, we got this going. Woo! When you're sauteing onions, it actually brings out more of the flavor of the onion in it than anything else. Which makes it awesome and everyone likes you for it. Okay, so we got that going. We got a new seasoning going on our burgers tonight, today. Yeah, I don't know if you can read that, but it's uh, gourmet uh, burger seasoning. Instead of eating that steak sauce that we always love to have on the channel. I am going to let you know on this that I am not being funded by anyone to do these videos. It's just my own free will and own free volition to do it. Which is rare to see. In YouTube or any other account, uh, any other things. And you know, so with uh, what's going on in the world, we all depend on uh, the news channels, but you know what? What's the news? Okay, let's look at the news as a historical figure. News historically in America has been false or fake news since the 30s. 
it's government controlled because, well, banks failed and uh, government took over it because they could do it. Anyone, if anyone knows how that happens, comment in the section, uh, comment from, you know, in the comment section, uh, leave a comment and let me know. Prove everything. Oh, shit. I probably made a big mistake. Big fuck up. Yep. I froze it and fucked it up. Like a genius. If anyone wants to join my kitchen, comment in the section below because I'd love to actually join up and have... Bring your own food. I will cook it and see how you feel about my cooking. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, let me know too. All right, we got that going. We got this going. Okay. Now, here comes the fun part. Taking this mater, tow mater, taking a couple onion slices, all right, we got those Ooh, hot. Of course those are going to be hot. They just came off the frying pan. Smart one. So yeah, we got that going. We got this going. This is pretty much every, a normal person's breakfast. Or not a normal person, but anyone that works third shift, this is breakfast for everyone that works for first shift. Sorry to say it, but it's true. This is a giant, giant burger. Okay. Alright, we next step. Add another one on. You're gonna love this because actually I do something in this video. So yeah, we got this going. We have a one plated. Yeah, that patty's a little thin. Next one won't be, though. There we go. We got that going. So we got this going at a good speed. Take our seasoning. Get that going. Take our onion, flip it. Hey Jim, if you're ever watching this video and actually want to comment on something, there's some tricks and there's some reasoning behind what I do. Listen to the dialogue that I present. Because that's what I do. Alright, we got that going. We're going to set up another plate. As a backup. Because I actually like to eat. And if I want to eat more, I can have some more left over. And I don't like to rehash and put like crap stuff at back in the crap drawer. Okay. 
I don't know if you ever heard of Jeff Dunham at all, but he's a pretty funny guy. I like his work, even though it's the, that some of the dolls that he has on there almost look like Jigsaw from Saw. I don't know what year or whatever that is, but that's pretty creepy. Alright, we got that. And that is juicy as hell. Alright, we got that going, we got this going. We got our burger plated, which is goal number one. Goal number two is get these off and put the video up on YouTube. Because, well, I'm bored, want to entertain myself, and Okay. So we got that going. That's a good deal. Uh, okay. We're going to just have the burger for right now. I could cook up some other stuff, but I don't want to ruin my fry pan, ruin everything else that I got going right now. We're going to have an onion. Yes, the fry pan actually gets washed out once in a while. I do like to have uh, I actually do like the seasoning in a fry pan. If this were a cast iron fry pan, it would be clean with water. And since this is, you know, one of those Teflon pants which I really hate, it's going to be fun. But if this were the actual pan that I wanted, it would be bigger, square, more square. Heat would be cranked up, but it would be also be sitting on a modified block system that I would build for cooking. So I could retain the heat without it going everywhere. And being cast iron, it's going to do a good job of that. So we got this going, we got that going. And I'm just saying, you know, I'm wishing everyone a good weekend so far. This is how my weekend starts. Just actually get some food in. Get some stuff done. Watch a few videos, get a bunch of laughs, you know. And be thankful for my neighbor across the hall. Even though some days I might want to stab people in the throat or the head because it'd be instantaneous and they wouldn't feel anything afterward. Well, not with the throat at least. But where I grew up and how I grew up is you don't piss off the cook. That's what I gotta say is you don't piss off the cook. You don't piss off people that actually know what they're doing. Moderately at least. So yeah, we got that going. We got this already done. This is almost done. We're gonna pan this or cover this, and uh, I think this is gonna be a video, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe on the channel. It helps me very much, and it uh, will make better videos in the future. I'm Crow Killer, and have a good one.